just let, let the land pay for itself. You know, everyone's always trying to make a little bit extra money off the homestead, and this is just one way. You gotta spend a little bit of money to make All a little right. bit of money. here at Hidden Heights Farm and I'm Kevin and today I got my tractor loaded up on the trailer and I am heading to help out a couple of buddies of mine on two of their different farms so uh, most of you know uh, keeping it Dutch I'm heading over there I got my auger loaded up in the grapple bucket here because he is building some fence and he's needing some corner post set so uh, we're gonna take the auger over there and drill some holes for him so he can get his corner post set and then I got another good buddy that lives about six miles from him that bought his first house out in the country and he's wanting to put a garden in this year. So we're going to head out there and get him a uh, garden till then. So uh, I'll try to keep you guys uh, along with me today and we'll try to film some of this. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit so we'll see you in a little bit. Alright guys, hopefully you can hear me over this loud tractor and this wind out here on the prairie. So we are here at keeping it Dutch's homestead and we've already started working this morning we got a few holes drilled with the auger and uh, we're about halfway done but uh, I'll try to video this next one we do but I want to show you somebody real quick look he's actually not crying I think Dutch actually fed him today and the sheep aren't yelling too loud all right guys so we already got four of his holes drilled he's putting a gate right there and we're gonna go work on the other corner now. We're going about three feet deep. And if you watch Dutch's video, I just got stuck on this last hole. I was just telling him how I got this auger stuck at my place once because I tried to go way too deep. And sure enough, I tried it here and it really got stuck in this plate.
Alright guys, so we're over here at Keeping It Dutch's homestead. We got his holes drilled with the auger. So uh, what's this project for Dutch? It's for the, I'll be able to rotate pastures for Jesse as long as he's here for another month or two and then my sheep. Because um, Kevin knows it's very important to get them sheep off, off that one, you know, that one lot you need to rotate Rotation. so it can grow back. And so he's, this is it. he's got all this lush pasture out here. You guys can look behind me. He's got all this grass and he don't do nothing but mow it right now. So I figured he'd come over here and help him get these posts set so he can get this fence set up and he can get these uh, sheep in here to start rotating them and uh, he'll have a lot more nutrition for them here where you don't have to feed them hay as much in the spring and summer. Yeah, it's not, it's not, only, it's, it's not only good for the sheep for the nutrition, and, but it also saves you money. Now I don't have to worry about buying hay. I could just rotate and they'll, you know, usually like this will be two one acre lots. I'll rotate every, you know, 10, 12 days. Let that get 12, two weeks worth of growth. And you know, it just it just works out way better that way. It saves you money in the long run. Right. You ain't got to worry about keeping it mowed or absolutely none of that. no. Heck so no. just let, let the land pay for itself. You know, everyone's always trying to make a little bit extra money off the homestead. And this is just one way. You got to spend a little bit of money to make right. a little bit of money. All right, guys. So talk about this auger here. This thing is a 25 plus year old auger made by Dan Uzer. It's a workhorse. Uh, it's even kind of bent right here, which don't affect it too much. Your holes are just kind of slanted at an angle. But as long as you got someone here holding it kind of like dutch did in the video holding it straight up it's no problem and uh if you guys go watch dutch's video we actually got this thing stuck i was just telling him how i got this thing stuck on my place uh if you guys follow my channel you know that my place is pretty rocky and over here we're on the other side of the river and it's nothing but just topsoil and then get about a foot down it's clay just 
really good dirt over here. So I wanted to do a little experiment and uh, right after I was telling him I got it stuck at my place, I sucked this thing down over to the max, almost to the head and it would not come back up. So we had to do a little work to get it up. So uh, go check out his video if you want to see that little blooper. There's old Gabby, that's his guard dog. Hey guys, so I'm back home now. Finished over at uh, keeping at Dutch's place. Got those holes drilled for him for his corner post. Then I went over to my buddy Tim's house and uh, got him a little garden area tilled up. So this is his first garden, so he's pretty excited. So I don't mind helping people out. You know, that's part of being a farmer, being a homesteader. You know, sometimes you might have something that someone else that you know does not have and vice versa. And you can borrow things or go over help them out like I did you know that's that's just part of it so uh if you can see behind me here I'm back at my garden and we got the tiller back on the tractor so I'm going to go ahead and get my garden tilled up and hopefully either this afternoon or tomorrow me and the family can get some of the sweet corn planted so I'm gonna go grab some lunch and I'll be back out in a bit all right guys someone jump on this tractor and go get that garden tilled up but first I want to show you something that I uh got from Dutch over from his place Some big rocks here went ahead and loaded them up while i had the tractor over there i thought maybe we could let the goats jump around on them or something if we put them out in their pasture might be fun for the baby ones anyways These things are heavy all right let's go get that garden tilled <laughs> really put that tractor to use today I got this garden area tilled up and now we can start planting our sweet corn uh, I had it tilled up about a month ago and then I let all the seeds from the grass and the weeds kind of germinate and grow up so that way when I tilled it again hopefully I'd kill all that out so still got some grass clumps in here and stuff I need to get out but uh, for the most part a lot of the roots and stuff should be destroyed I went over it a couple times each so looking good so here's a better look of the garden. This will probably just be planted in just sweet corn this year. <clears throat> Excuse me. Normally this is where we plant all of our garden, but now that we have the raised beds, we will probably only plant sweet corn in this bed. Okay, so I know I picked up a lot of subscribers this past week. So for those of you that are new to the channel, this is one of our livestock guardian dogs, Daisy. This is Daisy, our Anatolian livestock guardian dog. She guards these black Spanish goats that we raise here on the farm. And right now they're on this big field of lush green grass and weeds. And they're doing a good, drop, good job of uh, eating all these leaves off these trees. So for those of you that are new, I just wanted to show you some of the goats that we do have here on the farm. And that brush pile back there, I need to get it burned, but I'm still in the process of clearing out these trees right back over here so I was kind of wanting to wait before I get those all cut down and uh, stacked over there so I could burn them and here is our awesome guard dog Daisy we know Daisy she is a two-year-old Anatolian Shepherd and there is our buck for our Spanish herd And over here we have a small herd of pygmy goats on our other pasture and they just had babies back in February but most of them are weaned now so we have two different herds of goats here on the farm we have the pygmies and then the uh, Spanish meat goats and over here on this side with the pygmies we have a uh, semi-retired livestock guardian dog he is a great Pyrenees. He's about eight years old and his name is Bear. Just wanted to show you guys some of the animals here on the farm. 
All right, guys, so I haven't talked much about my tractor. So for those of you that are new to the channel, this is our 35 horsepower Kubota four-wheel drive tractor. And as you can see, I have this grapple on the front that is uh, controlled by a third function valve that I installed on this thing. I'll show you here. It's got these open and close buttons on here on the joystick that controls the uh, loader arms. And man, ever since I got this thing, it's been nothing but handy around the farm we can uh, cut trees down don't have, have to worry about cutting them up or anything we can just put them where we want them if we just want to cut small brush and stuff we can pile it all up on a brush pile so it comes in super handy this is also how i load a lot of the round bells that we use here on the farm i don't use a hook i just grab them with the grapple and take them where i want them so all right guys so i put this tractor to through a lot of work today so i'm gonna go put it up in the barn and let it get some rest and I got a lot of stuff still to do here on the farm today. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it if you guys hit that like button. And we'll see you on the next video, guys.